I've been buying more homes lately to renovate. And a lot of these homes were built in the early 1900s, maybe the 10s, 20s, 30s into the 40s, kind of the pre-World War II era of home. And as such, these homes had the original electrical system wired with a method called knob and tube. Now, nothing was inherently wrong with knob and tube at the time, but it is a system that ha is ungrounded, so there is some safety concerns and just the overall age of the system can cause some issues for you, especially from modifications that have been put in over time. So I'm gonna walk you through this home. This is an early 1900s home. There is some issues, and specifically this switch right behind me uh, is a major safety issue and a fire hazard. So I'll show you what's going on with that, and I'll also show you what might look like an updated system to a new home buyer actually has a lot of the original parts still in place and such a lot of the issues of an aging electrical system. So we'll start off by flipping the switch to the off position and show you what happens. Scary stuff, right? So baseline safety if something like that is happening try to isolate the system hit your breaker pull the fuse cut all power and always make sure you have a general use fire extinguisher with you an a b c c being for electrical fire specifically you don't want to be throwing water on electrical fire you want to use one of these fire extinguishers to make sure you can get yourself out of a very serious situation so safety first when you're dealing with this type of issue I'm gonna hit the power and actually take that faceplate off so we can see internally what's going on with that failure. So issue number one, this is a hot conductor coming in. It's going through the side of this handy box, but there's no cable connector there. So you would want to either use a plastic or an old faithful metal, 3 8 of an inch cable connector to protect from shorting against the box. So I'm gonna open this switch up, take it out, show you where we were getting the arcing and smoking, which was from this side. So I believe the smoke we were seeing was internal to the switch, so I'm gonna open that up. But just to note, this wire, although was running right against the metal, actually was not shorting. I think this wire, because it had so much of the insulation cut back, was actually touching the side of the handy box. Now why that's dangerous is we do not have a ground in the system. So in that case, that energizes this handy box and the screws that go to the switch and the screws that go to the faceplate. So even if you touch those screws on the faceplate or touch the handy box, you are now going to be the ground and you can get shocked. So be very careful and that is one of the obvious concerns of not having a grounded system and having old wiring like this. But let me show you the internals of that switch and where we're getting the smoke and arcing from. So it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but here is the switch removed. I have the yoke off so I can remove the switch itself, which we are seeing the smoke and arcing in this orientation from the top side. So if I take that off, we have the internal spring that helps to give you the toggle feel, and then you can't really see it well but the switch contact here, there's some discolorization down. Let's try to zoom in there. That was our arc path. So these contacts 
where getting in a situation where they were close and then you started to get arcing, that started to create heat, you started to melt the plastic, and then that's the smoke that we were seeing coming out. So just these old switches and old components, I mean, can lead to failures and they do have a serviceable life where they need to be swapped out. I think a lot of the confusion comes in when homeowners or future home buyers see a electrical panel with circuit breakers, so they think, hey, the electrical system is not original to the home and it has been updated, but not so fast. When I get one of these old homes, probably eight out of 10 times, if they've been updated to breakers, they're only about half updated. Usually what they'll do is run Romex, especially if they have basement access to junction boxes. And then from those junction boxes, actually the old original wiring will be left in place and ran up to your outlets, up to your switches, and actually feed the power to the majority of your home. So you kind of have a hybrid spliced together system, and that is super common. That's way more common than actually running new Romex from a new panel all the way out to every light fixture, every outlet, every switch. That is not nearly as common, but is by far the best practice. Now, with that said, it definitely comes with a cost. In my area, you could be looking at the difference between $5,000 to update the panel, run Romex to junction box, but keep the existing wire in place, to $10,000 if you want to actually run that all the way to all your fixtures. And that's not even talking about the drywall or plaster repair that you're going to need to do for the holes it'll need to cut to get the wire to where it needs to go. For instance, this house has that hybrid system. It even has some of the knob and tube that is still active in the basement, let alone the rest of the house. And this can be dangerous because they're just super old switches. Here's a, a pull string to a light fixture in the basement. And I mean, this pull string might be 50 or 60 years old and can be a source of failure. So you definitely want to update this. It's in plain view, easily accessible. You'd want to get this updated just for peace of mind and safety. Hopefully I have a little more information and understanding of electrical systems, especially if you're in the market of new homes. It's so, so competitive right now that a lot of people are, are putting in offers and waiving inspections. Now, I would not recommend that unless you have a lot of experience in all the major systems in your home because you can kind of get in a situation where you might have a massive ten dollars or $15,000 bill coming when you find out a part of your home is unsafe like the electrical system. If you want to dive a little deeper in what to look at in old homes, what systems to look at and what to consider, check out this video right here. There's a home I purchased earlier in the year that had a lot of the common concerns you'll see in older homes. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.